प्रभु तव मूर्ति विनोदकारी पलपन विसरे नहीं जो विसारी जुगल चरण सोल चिन्ह जेह नजर समीप रहो अमारी एह नजर समीप रहो अमारी एह गुलगन श्याम महाराज नी जय हरि कृष्ण महाराज नी जय स्वामी नारायण भगवान नी जय सुप्रीम ऑल माइटी आर बिलवेड गन श्याम महाराज द पाथ मेकर टू लिबरेशन आर एट मोस्ट डियर पूज्य गुरुजी पूज्य संतो भगत जी एंड ऑल यू डिवोटीज जय स्वामी नारायण Bhagwan Swami Narayan's nature was gentle as a flower. And when he came on this earth, he displayed such kind of compassion to his saints and devotees that in their vision, in their perspective, there was nothing for them but Bhagwan. Bhagwan showed not even 0.1% of his divinity his greatness yet all those souls who came in some kind of contact made be via a saint made be even a tree made be flowers or may it be animals such as monkeys fish oxes cows etc so on and so forth experienced such kind of compassion from bhagwan swami narayan that it was never forgotten by them there are so many devotees that bhagwan has only met once or that devotee has only met bhagwan once even for a glimpse of 5 seconds 10 seconds and rest of their life they have never even had the darshan of bhagwan but that 5 to 10 second period they have remembered throughout their whole life that's how much bhagwan was attractive that's how much bhagwan was very very you can say magnetic in today we want to look at bhagwan's compassion and nature through a charitra between maharaj and sadguru muktanand swami swami narayan hari the beginning of the swami narayan sampraday was a turbulent time the village bhavas always conspired and troubled the true sadhus the sadhus the sadhus could not even keep their alms they were pushed out of the out of the villages Despite the hardships the sadhus stayed on the outskirts of the villages or by the banks of the river they still carried on bhagwan swami narayan's mission of leading individuals towards the path of dharma now th- this has always been occurring ever since that beginning time but ever since bhagwan swami narayan grew more and more all these kinds of turbulent became less and less but the beginning time was very harsh they did not have the luxuries of today the sadhus traveled by barefoot without food their strength and endurance came from the love and devotion of shri hari shri hari one time sadguru muktanand swami whose heart was gentle like a mother arrived in saurashtra with the group of saints They were near Sarangpur. The saints bathed in the river. Afterwards, they sat beneath the trees and rested underneath the shade while meditating. At this time, Rathod Dadal, a devotee, was walking towards the river to bathe. He noticed from afar the saints approached approached them. He bowed in respect and exchanged pleasantries. Muktan Swami asked about Shri Ji Maharaj. 
Rathod Dhadar replied, Maharaj is at Jivakachar's Darbar. Hearing this, a deep smile formed on Swami's face. He was overjoyed. So, can we meet Maharaj soon? It's been many days since his darshan. This was Muktanand Swami's question. Muktanand Swami and his group of saints were assigned to travel and do vichran around the regions of Saurashtra by the Agna of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. It had been many days, let's say 10 to 15 days. But Swami's question here that can we have Maharaj's darshan explains many things about Swami's life that we can reflect on. In the Vachnamrut, Bhagwan Swaminarayan says that there are certain characteristics that a person who has deep affection for Bhagwan has. And one of them is that one cannot live without the darshan of his Ishtadev, meaning his God. Another is that one cannot live without listening to the Kathavarta about his Ishtadev, meaning Bhagwan. And third is that no matter how ill one may ill one may be or tired one may be from traveling, if one hears talks about one's Ishtadev, then immediately that illness, that tiredness wears off and one becomes very attentive to listen to the talks of God. Swami was traveling, Swami was fasting, Swami was enduring hardship through tolerating the insults of others. Yet, when Swami met Rathod Dadal, he asked, when can we have the darshan of Maharaj? Such kind of affection for Maharaj. And the surprising thing is, is that in that time, out of all the Nansanto, all of all the 500 Nansanto that Bhagwan Swami Narayan brought on this earth, Maharaj kept Muktanand Swami with him the most. Maharaj asked Muktanand Swami the most. And Muktanand Swami, when we read the Vachnamrut, was in majority in the presence of Maharaj at that time. Yet, for some time, for maybe 10 or 15 days, Swami was assigned to tour the regions of Shodasht. Yet he missed Maharaj so much. He could not live without his darshan. And through this question, we can understand what kind of fond and tender relationship Maharaj and Sadguru Muktanand Swami had. But Swami, Maharaj is currently not allowing darshan to anyone without permission ahead of time. This is Maharaj's new Leela. Many devotees have been disappointed without darshan. Now, first, Swami asks, How is Maharaj? Can we have his darshan? Will, is he available? Ratra Dadal, he revealed that Maharaj is not having or giving darshan without appointment, we can say right now. And many, many devotees have become disappointed and went back to their homes. Now, Bhagwan Swaminarayan, he tested his saints and devotees like no other God has tested. But this was not to break their mentality. This was not to slow them down. But this was actually to make them firm. Not that they needed any kind of strength. They were great, great Anadi Muktos of Akshardham. Yet, Bhagwan Swaminarayan tested his Nansanto by holding Prakrans. Bhagwan Swaminarayan tested his devotees, may it be male and females, just so that the future devotees can get a glimpse of how these great characters 
were and are currently. Bhagwan Swaminarayan tested each and every person. And, you know, if we look at it in a worldly fashion, we can see that those who are tested, we can immediately understand their level of thinking through their examination. And if there were no test, then how can we differentiate between the intelligent and the not intelligent? How can we differentiate between the stars and you can say those who still need to work on their, you can say, homework or you can say their, their ability to study academically. That's why even here today, various subjects are given in college, high school, and various kinds of examinations, quizzes, pop quizzes are given to test that person's aptitude. In the same way, Bhagwan Swaminarayan wanted to make his saints perfect. And in the Vachnamnut Gardaram middle chapter 45, Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself states that all of you belong to me. All of you are mine. So I do not want to leave even, I do not want to leave even a small, you can say, fault small as a sesame seed inside of you. S reading these words, we can see how much Bhagwan Swaminarayan has affection for us. He does not want to leave any faults within us. And in the same way, just how Bhagwan Swaminarayan stated this in the Vachnamrut, Bhagwan Swaminarayan and his Satpurush are not different. And here on this earth, when Bhagwan Swaminarayan sends his Satpurush, his Satpurush also has the same mentality and he is always constantly, we can say, working, laboriously working towards our salvation, laboriously working to make us pure like him, laboriously working to completely remove our faults day and night. May we know this, May we not know this, but this is the whole motive of the Satpurush. This is why the Satpurush comes on this earth. And Bhagwan Swaminarayan displayed this through his saints. Continuing on. Can you please convey to Maharaj that Muktanan Swami and the Sant Mando, after visiting Gujarat, have arrived? Everyone is eager for your darshan. If you grant permission, we will like to visit. So Muktan Swami sends an oral message via Rathod Dadal to Maharaj to get permission for his darshan. With, the, with this message, Rathod Dadal went to see Sriji Maharaj. Sri Hari, listened inten Sri Hari listened intently. After thinking briefly, he replied, Tell Swami to continue the journey and not insist on darshan. Right now, darshan is forbidden. Now, Bhagwan became a little strict just to, you can see, give us a glimpse of how patience is in the life of Muktanan Swami, how much affection Muktanan Swami had and has for Maharaj. We just, Maharaj is giving us a glimpse here by performing this kind of leela. Hearing these firm words, Rathod Bhagat was taken back. He did not have the courage to re rely, relay this to Muktanan Swami. Rathod Bhai approached the Sant Mandal. Muktanan Swami understood based on Rathod Bhai's walk. He knew the reply, but asked on behalf of the eager saints, What did Maharaj say? Another, you can say, greatness of Muktanan Swami. Rathod Dadal did not have to say anything. Off of his walk, Muktanan Swami knew what the answer was. Even present, currently, may it be in the form of our Puja Guruji, or may it be Ekantik Santo that we have received, they realize and they scan 
They were like x-ray machines and CT scans and MRIs. They're able to scan an individual, a soul, through looking into the eyes, by examining the person's walk, by examining, you can say, the body gestures, through examining the face. The Satpurush has great, great, you can say, samarthi or powers that Maharaj has given to him. And through that, he uses this for the sole purpose of the kalyan of the soul or liberation of the soul. And Muktanan Swami, by seeing Ratro Dadal's walk, immediately knew that the answer was no. But he still asked on behalf of the saints. Another characteristic or virtue I observed in Muktanan Swami's life was that he always asked on behalf of the saints. In the Vachnamrut, Muktanan Swami portrayed 90 questions. And out of those 90 questions, none of them were for him. Muktanan Swami is an Anadi Mukta. He is from Maharaj's Akshradham. Yet, Muktan Swami asked 90 questions in the Vachnamrut on behalf of those saints and devotees that were sitting in the assembly and on behalf of the future Mumukshus who will be reading the Vachnamrut. If Muktan Swami did not ask such kind of questions, how will we know Maharaj's ruchi or his liking? If Muktanan Swami did not ask such kind of questions, how would we understand Bhagwan Swaminarayan's intent? If Muktanan Swami did not ask such kind of questions in the Vachnamrut, how would we understand the very core principles of Bhagwan Swaminarayan? Muktanan Swami asked on behalf of us. Muktan Swami asked so that we could attain liberation as soon as possible. Muktanan Swami asked so that we can understand Bhagwan Swaminarayan Swarup. We can understand Bhagwan Swaminarayan as Sarvopari, Karta Harta, All Doer and Supreme. Muktanan Swami asked these questions so that we when in when at times experiencing adverse circumstances, we can also get a peace of heart. That's why Muktanan Swami asked. Not because he did not know anything. He knew everything. And here Muktanan Swami asked on behalf of the eager santos. This was Swami's daya. Even if Swami knew off of the walk of Rathod Dadal that the answer was no, the answer was no due to uh, Maharaj is not going to give darshan to them or anyone. Yet he asked on behalf of the saints. That's why he is considered and called the mother of the satsang. Because he took care of everyone in the fashion where he understood everyone's situation. He understood that these are all, you can say, mumukshus. They are not completely enlightened yet. And I want to enlighten them, but only if I ask this or only if I do this, they would realize Maharaj even more. This was Swami's broad vision. And as of right now, our Puja Guruji has such kind of a broad vision that he is changing the face of the whole Sampradaya. Nonetheless, his broad vision to help even the meek, his broad vision to make each and every sant the most capable to the maximum capability capacity he can. Guruji's broad vision to make each and every saint Bhagwan's, you can say, diamond in Bhagwan's mugat, meaning Guruji's vision is to make each and every sant, each and every devotee, very, very dear to Maharaj. Even if he has to become very, very low, even if he has to become buried, this is Guruji's vision. Then if this is Guruji's vision, then how should our vision be? As satsangis of Loyadam Parivar, if this is Guruji's understanding, how should our understanding be? 
And if anyone wants to have the darshan of Muktanan Swami, if anyone wants to see the sadhuta of Muktanan Swami, if anyone wants to experience a peace of heart by having the darshan of Muktanan Swami, then one does not need to go far. One just has to have the darshan of our Puja Guruji. Even as of today, even at this age, Guruji's capability and capacity to tolerate even the most insignificant people proves according to Gadara 1st chapter 27th that he is a very very great Satpurush and Bhagwan himself Bhagwan himself 100% is inside of him operating at all times each and every second of the way if one takes a glimpse in the life of Arapuja Guruji one completely becomes at peace of heart and one can have the darshan of Bhagwan inside of one's heart. This is how great of a Satpurush we have met and we are very fortunate that our Adi Guru Muktanan Swami is our first Guru and our spiritual lineage continues even as of today. Moving on, Raturbhai lowered his head and eyes he shook his head indicating a no. Then he quietly relayed Maharaj's message. Hearing these words, the saints teared up. The environment became unhappy. Muktan Swami was sad, but he mustered the courage to counsel the saints. Again, Muktanan Swami's mother-like nature. Why Muktanan Swami is called the mother of satsang is shown here in this small charitra. Even if he was sad, he still mustered the courage to counsel the other saints. He did not want any other person to lose courage or to become very, very depressed or disheartened. We are fortunate that we get to live in the midst of our God. We may not be able to get hit darshan, but we will, we will in a couple of days. Don't be sad. If this is Bhagwan's order, we should follow. Bhagwan Swami Narayan says, according to the Vachnam Gadara last chapter 13th, that whatever Bhagwan's liking is, that should be our liking. Our liking and Bhagwan's life liking should not be different. In this, Muktanan Swami displays this and respects it in the fashion where if Bhagwan doesn't want to give darshan, no problem. We want to follow in Bhagwan's command. Only one faith, only one singular devotion, that Ikantik Panu, that Muktan Swami displayed, was phenomenal. It cannot be matched. Raturbhai was listening intently. Swami and the Mandal proceeded towards Karyani. Raturbhai came to see Sri, Sri Hari. Maharaj, all the saints wanted to see you. When they didn't receive your permission, everyone was disheartened. Muktan Swami counseled them, and they all walked away, all walked ahead towards Karyani. Hearing these words, Sriji Maharaj, who can be stern and compassionate, had tears streaming down his eyes. He quickly rose and asked for his horse, Manki. I want to follow my saints. Manki arrived and Sriyari left right away. Bhagwan and his Sadpurush are komad or soft as a flower and as tough as iron. Bhagwan and his Sadpurush react, you can say, portray according to circumstance, whatever and however they need to be they can become. Just like how a chameleon, when it goes into an environment of jungle, it becomes green. And when it goes into the environment of rock, it becomes the color of a rock. Wherever it goes, that's the color it displays. But in no way does it reveal its real identity or real color. In the same way, 
Maharaj and his Sadpurush, they adjust according to circumstance. They help according to circumstance and they react according to circumstance, just like that chameleon. But they do not reveal that they have done it. They do not reveal themselves in that way where even someone can figure their motive out because they're very, very great in that, you can say, in that role that they're playing. And the sole purpose that they're playing such a role is for the kalyan or liberation of each and every soul on this earth. That is why Maharaj stood right up and asked for his manki and left. Pretty soon Sriji Maharaj could see his beloved saints. He circled around the saints. The sadhus could feel Sriji Maharaj's presence. They did dunwat. Maharaj jumped off the horse and embraced the saints one by one. Everyone had tears in their eyes, including Sriji Maharaj. The saints spread their shawl for Maharaj to sit. Maharaj accepting their devotion and sat down and looked at each, each sadhu lovingly. The sadhus were deeply gazing at Sriji Maharaj, their beloved father. Then. Maharaj asked Muktan Swami about Satsang Vicharan. After some time, Sriji Maharaj said, Swami, you voyaged from one village to another by foot. You treat, you treat praises and insults equally. You are able to withstand hunger and thirst. Because of you and your efforts, our Satsang shines brightly. Every day, each of you set many examples. Sriji Maharaj had tears streaming down his eyes, which he wiped with his kiss. You know, it's one thing that when, when we remember Maharaj, may it be a saint, may it be a devotee, that we tend to cry. That is a very, very, you can say, a, a great feat as it is. But a true great feat you can say the Rajipo of Maharaj is when Maharaj and his Ekantik Sadpurush cry by remembering us in a good way, by remembering how good of a Sant this is, by remembering how good of a Hari Bhagat this is, by remembering how their character is, by remembering how something they did. When Maharaj and his Sadpurush cry after their Sant and devotee, that's true Rajipo. And that cannot be bought with money. That cannot be bought with any kind of materialistic object in this world or anywhere else. That can only be bought. That can only be attained. That can only be gained if one associates with a Sadpurush, a true Ekantik Sadpurush in the form of our Guruji. And one does and follows as he says according to his anuvrutti, his intention. That is the only way to attain the Rajipo of Maharaj and such a Satpurush. Muktan Swami's palms folded with humility and said, Maharaj, you, Maharaj, we are your das, meaning servants. Your grace and darshan is what we desire. We are extremely happy. Kindly return to the village and we will march ahead no return with me stay with me for a couple of days maharaj said with happiness maharaj said maharaj, maharaj was performing a leela maharaj rejected many many saints previously and many many devotees that had come from far villages for his darshan and they had to go back again yet maharaj displayed his rajipo on muktanan swami and the santo by saying no you stay with me. I want to keep you with me. What is greater than this? What can be greater than this? And Muktan Swami was such a sadhu that for only Maharaj would do this to him. Only Maharaj would say these kinds of statements for Swami. While singing kirtans, everyone returned to Karyani. They stayed for a couple of days. 
Madad served the saints and kept a watchful eye when they ate. Madad, uh, Bhagwan, Bhagwan tests before showering his love. Despite the harsh words, the saints did not falter from their devotion. Bhagwan Swaminarayan descends to the earth for the devotees, for his devotees. Maharaj tested his sadhus, his devotees, yet they did not falter from their devotion. And due to that, Bhagwan Swaminarayan became Raji. Maharaj, may it be Maharaj or may it be his Ekandik Satpurush. They should have the right to test us in any way, any form, at any time in our life. And we should be prepared to be tested even the most harsh way, yet nothing should happen. When we became prepared, when we are capable and ready, the Satpuru should automatically test us. And when we pass our test, after the test, when we pass it, the result is Rajipo. The result we can see is Maharaj crying after Muktanan Swami and his santos. In the same way, the result would be a Satpurush displaying his Raji for, for us. This cannot be bought anywhere, but it can definitely be attained by the association of a, such a Satpurush. And we have received such a Satpurush in the form of our Guruji. We are very fortunate and as Loyadam Parivar Haribhakto, our duty, our mission should be only to make our Guruji happy, to only live in his wish and to only stay loyal to him. And when these three things combine, then without a doubt, the Satpuru should become happy upon us and we would reach Akshardham very, very easily in no time. So, in the end, we are very fortunate and all we have to do is associate with such a Satpurush, join with our Guruji and attain Maharaj's Murti. Saying this, my humble Jai Swaminarayan.